The Find X5 Pro is the latest from Oppo, the successor to Find X3 Pro. Don't ask me about X4 or Find, it just probably couldn't be found. Today on Rocket Reviews, we'll be taking a deep look at the new, the latest Oppo Find X5 Pro with its host of neat features, including a potent processor, luscious design, 5G connectivity, and impressive camera setup. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, do write them down in the comments section. The Oppo Find X5 Pro was just unveiled to the public, and we all know how they've been battling with Google's Pixel and Samsung's Galaxy, which both check all the boxes for a flagship phone in 2022. So Oppo has released a new phone in an attempt to steal your attention away from its competitors. And here are some reasons why we think you should buy it. Although Oppo hasn't announced how much this phone will cost, it will be competitive according to what was said during a press briefing. The last Find X3 Pro was over $1,000. If it sticks to that pricing, then it should be well above the 1500 range, placing it squarely in that high-end flagship level with the S22 Ultra and iPhone 13 Pro. Hopefully the price is reduced by a couple of hundreds to make it a lot more enticing. Here are 5 reasons why I think you should try the Oppo Find 5X Pro. This phone has a great design. The Find 5X Pro is shaped and styled similar to the Find X3 Pro from last year, but I think it looks even better. The camera unit now has a diagonal slope at the bottom to make it more comfortable to hold. It's constructed of ceramic that's been baked at over 1000 degrees Celsius, allowing it to be shaped into a single piece that flows up and around the camera lens. It has a distinct style that sets it apart from its competitors, and I believe it manages to be both attractive and practical so it wouldn't appear out of place in a posh wine bar or at a boardroom meeting table. While the front is built of Corning, most rigorous Gorilla Glass Victus, Oppo claims that the ceramic build makes it twice as durable as toughened glass. I haven't tried throwing it to the ground yet for fun, but I'm confident it will withstand at least a few blows. It's also waterproof with an IP68 rating, so spilled drinks or phone calls in the rain shouldn't be an issue. In conclusion, the protective case included in the box may not be necessary. Impressive camera. Tucked into that ceramic display are three cameras. There's a 50 megapixel main sensor, along with a 50 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Much as it did with the Find X3, Oppo has used the same image sensor for both standard and ultra wide views, so you won't need to sacrifice quality when switching between the lenses. Exposure on the phone is spot on, there's tons of detail, and while there's a bit of a shift in color balance between the main and ultra wide cameras, there's no dip in image quality. There's also a 13 megapixel zoom lens giving a 2x optical zoom, which is perfectly fine. But I'd like to see more zoom levels here. Oppo says its customers care more about wide angle shots, so it's where its efforts have gone. But I love the longer zoom offered by the Pixel 6 Pro and the huge 10x zoom from the S22 Ultra as they let me get more creative ideas. The phone's Pro mode offers users some Hasselblad seasoned fine grain controls. This means a big orange shutter button and three Hasselblad approved filters for stills and videos. You even get X-Pan mode where you can shoot videos in a 65 is to 24 ratio. If you give a darn about math, it's simply a very wide cinematic aspect ratio. But Oppo has been bragging about the night mode quality in both images and video. The main sensor has the first 5-axis optical stabilization seen in a phone along with its dedicated processing unit that helps brighten dark shots while keeping image noise down. I found its night shots to be very much impressive, with plenty of fine details that certainly put it on par with other top camera phones. The video stabilization works for nighttime shots too, but I mostly found it's helpful in the daytime smoothing out my footprints as I walked along Edinburgh. It's a great camera system overall, and if you much prefer those sweeping wide-angle vistas rather than zooming in on tiny details, then you're well catered for here. Vibrant Display The Find X5 Pro's 6.7-inch display has a 3216 into 1440 pixel resolution, which makes even tiny details look pin sharp. It's bright too, with vibrant, punchy colors, which makes it great for playing colorful games like Asphalt 9 Legends or, I suppose, Candy Crush Saga. It curves gently at the sides, which gives it an extra little premium touch, 
while the 120Hz refresh rate means swiping around the interface feels buttery smooth. You can, however, turn that refresh rate down and lower the resolution to put less strain on the battery. I do that as I don't think there's such a difference that you'd notice it in a day-to-day -day use and you can always ramp things back up if you're settling into some gaming. Processing Power And speaking of ramping things up for gaming, the Find X5 Pro comes loaded with a seriously potent processor in the form of Qualcomm's latest 8th Gen 1 chip, the Snapdragon, which is the most advanced 5G platform ever with other features like 8K, HDR, videos capability, desktop quality realism, and reaction time on our benchmark tests. The X5 is certainly up there with the likes of the S22 Ultra, meaning it offers a smooth experience overall. There's no lag whatsoever as you swipe your way around the Android 12 interface. While more demanding games such as Asphalt 9 Legends or PUBG or Call of Duty play well. In short, there's little I imagine you'd be able to throw at this thing that would slow it down. Solid battery and fast charging. Powering all that is a 5000 mAh battery which is a generous size and should keep you going for a full day of mixed use. As with all phones, it depends on how demanding you are. Though, if you barely touch it all day beyond answering the odd text, it'll have plenty of juice the next day. Spend the day streaming YouTube videos and you can expect it to need a boost in the afternoon. But a boost is a very quick thing though as the phone supports 80 watt fast charging which will take the phone from empty to 50% full in just 12 minutes, which is great if you need that extra bit of juice before you head out for a night on the town. And the fast charger comes in the box too so you won't need to scour Amazon trying to find one that'll work. As you can see, these specs are nothing to scoff at. Overall, I think the Find X5 Pro is an impressive phone that gives you the overall power and performance, and I think the looks you'd expect from a top-end phone right now. Alright guys, this is all we have for today. Hope you liked this video. For more videos like this, like and subscribe to my channel, and also check out my previous videos on my channel. Until next time, bye bye